Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Welcome back to Captain of Industry, where things are going pretty darn well indeed. Uh, last episode, we built this massive concrete area, uh, and we've redesigned the assembly area, which I'm hoping, 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 hoping that we're going to be able to jump into today. Uh, first things first is we need to get on top of this whole maintenance situation, and so I'm hoping uh, that we're also going to be able to get uh, to get copper production started uh, pretty darn quickly, uh, really. Uh, we've got a pretty decent amount of construction components coming through, so that's working quite nicely. Pretty happy with that. Uh, there's no real reason to finish this out, but I guess we, I guess we might as well. Uh, but what we are going to need to do, and I'm going to just plonk this down right about there, and we'll build that as a priority, and we will also shift one of our existing excavators over to here. There we go, and get one of those set up like so we'll get a mining designation oh i don't know just like just like there yep and then you will prioritize copper there we go uh okay so hopefully let's add that as coal and then we'll add this as copper uh hopefully we should be able to we should be able to pretty darn rapidly assuming that we're you know Assuming that we're able to actually do anything because of the little, little bit of lack of maintenance at the moment. Uh, but assuming that we're able to get this all up and running, then we should be we should be in a pretty, pretty darn good space. Pretty darn good space and a pretty darn good place. The good news is, is that the electric assemblies are doing fine. I have no idea why the maintenance is so darn high for these things, but very, very happy that it is. Uh, electronics is the primary issue at the moment. Rubber is uh, plentiful. It is literally just copper that we need. And uh, in order to rectify that, all we need to do is just boot up the old blast furnace, and that's and that's it. Uh, so we'll get that dispatched, and we'll start the process. We will start the process of producing copper for the first time ever. I think there is only one use for copper, and that is that is literally electronics. Literally electronics. Let's bump that to priority one. We'll bump that to priority one as well just so that we've got a little bit more stability in the process. But the good news is, the good news is, is that throughout this, throughout this time, apart from the fact that our concrete production is ridiculously slow, we are still making uh, construction components, and I can actually do some trades. I can do some trades. I have some spare unity. We might as well make the, make the trade with the wood in order to get the concrete for now. And that's going to allow us to continue to make construction component level ones. Honestly, having con uh, having concrete as part of the mix, like early on, is is a challenge. It really, really is. It really, really is a challenge. Uh, right. So, what do you need? You need water, and you need molten copper. I tell you what, we don't actually have water production set up over here yet. So, I think I might actually just do that. Yeah, we'll get that built there. I didn't mean to quick build that, but. I suppose that's actually that's actually completely fine. Uh, we'll get a fluid storage tank set up here. We'll prioritize the construction of that. And then we will just get a straight up fish bash bosh. Like so. Priority, priority. And we'll probably get ourselves probably thinking another freshwater collector here. There we go. Everything that should be prioritized has been prioritized, so that should get the proper attention uh, that it deserves. And that's going to get us the water that we need, if I'm not mistaken. Although we still need... Ugh, you're... Why, why break down? Don't break down. Just, just don't break down. Just don't break down. Do me a solid and not break down, eh? And also, don't don't load up with dirt. I mean, just find another bit of copper in here, and then just get me some copper, because we could really do without. We could really do without that. That's for sure. And we'll quick build that too. At least we got plenty of unity. I say we got plenty of unity. Two point nine eight, you know, three unity. That's enough for now. That's enough for now for sure. Anyway, that's going to get us loads and loads of copper. We need sixteen in order to start the conversion process. We'll have the magic sixteen number fairly soon, if not from this load of copper, and that's going to allow us to to get going properly. Can't repair the excavator, because we, we ain't got the unity yet, but that's not necessarily a problem. 
Uh, I should really turn off my labs, eh? I mean, if I'm not using the labs, save a bit of unity. I mean, that's going to allow me to get so much more. I mean, basically doubling it right there. That'll make a nice little difference, and that's just going to allow me to, again, you know, get the to get the copper more rapidly, which is going to be critical. It's actually assigned another truck. Might make no difference at all, but it might make all the difference in the world. It's not a very long journey that the trucks have to go, but I guess... I guess they can do it slightly faster now. Okay, nice. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. And then, do we have... Yeah, we got 126 of these. 126 of these construction component level 2 things. We might as well... We might as well do what I initially intended to do. Something like that. Uh, something like that. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's not necessarily the end of the world. 0 0.1 unity and 0 0.1 unity. Might as well quick build it. Again, just to just to make it go a little bit faster. Just to make it go just a smidgeroony faster. We do have a little bit of water, but it is not much. It is... It is very little water. Hey, 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 look at that. Look at that. We got the copper. And you are going to take the goods right to... Right to the factory where they are needed the most. And we should be able to get at least two rounds of electronics out of here. And that's going to do... That's going to do a world of good. That's going to do a world of good. That's going to be really, really handy. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. Right, lots and lots of electronics, lots and lots of electronics. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. And then let's get this area fully maintained, and then let's move on with our lives and move past this. Uh, we will repair that fully, repair that fully, repair that fully. And actually, I think I might release you from... from service. Uh, actually, no, I won't. Not yet, not yet. Not, not, not yet. How are we doing tree-wise? We've got a couple of trees but not, unfortunately, enough trees. We still have plenty of tree designations. Uh, I'm going to actually make the strategic decision to repair a couple of uh, tree, tree trucks and maybe even the tree harvester itself. The reason being is that we're able to fairly easily trade trees away for other stuff. Uh, I would love to repair that diesel generator, but I cannot at the moment. I cannot. Hey, hey, it's happening. It's happening. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So it's a little bit inefficient. It's a little bit inefficient at uh, at the present moment. We have, uh, well, none of the key journeys, you know, none of the key, none of the key bits and bobs that are being put into the maintenance depot are actually being automatically transported to where they need to go. But... That is a price that I am perfectly willing to pay, at least for now. Let's get that repaired. Beautiful, so that we can have full diesel generation. Diesel, by the way, we're totally, totally fine. I mean, diesel was the, the thing that we were really, really worried about last episode. Not so anymore. And to be honest, I really... I'm not worried about... I'm not worried about any of this, any of this nonsense. Uh, right, so I'm going to be very, very strategic in the way that I approach this piece of the puzzle over here. Uh, we're going to need to slowly but surely turn on different components there we go there we go turn that on turn that on we need to make sure that we build this in such a staggered fashion that we don't completely obliterate ourselves and sort of uh, put too much demand Put too much undue demand on our fairly limited amount of, uh, of concrete production at the moment. Yeah, not a fan, not a fan. Small excavator has no fuel. Well, that's not my problem. Just go and fill up. I mean, there's plenty of the there's plenty of the stuff. There really, really is. There's loads, loads and loads and loads of fuel. Absolutely tons of fuel. One of the things that we are officially good for is fuel and oil, etc. So. That is nice. Let's also... I'm going to go into planning mode and do this, but we'll also get a... 
also get one of these set up. No reason to necessarily build it now because we're just moving the copper manually, which is fine. Hmm. This is just, this just sits weirdly with me. I feel like this needs to be automated. It really, really does need to be automated. I wonder where, though. I wonder where. I feel like this is too close to, this is too close to where it needs to, needs to be. Let's, let's just start a brand new process over here. And we get... I have no idea, by the way, what we're going to require for level 2 and level 3 maintenance. So let's just plan out. Let's just plan out stuff that is going to allow us to, you know, get the job done temporarily. So we need mechanical components and we need... What do we need? We need one every... or three every 60 seconds. And this way we make four every 60 seconds. So we need one of those. We use six every 60 seconds. Let's make six every 60 seconds. We need three inputs here. One, two, three. This is all done to make sure that we buffer everything. There we go. Okay, so that's another area that we can bring online very, very swiftly indeed. How are we doing maintenance-wise? Not bad. Not bad at all. Certainly doing a lot better than we were. And this area, hey, 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 look at that. Our slag processing area, our concrete mixer, that's looking good. Uh, it's literally just construction components, though. So I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to just try and trade away. We're going to try and trade away more and more of these cost is still quite high at present, so maybe let's not do that. That's useless. That would be kind of useful, but I mean, I think we're fine for copper now, right? I think we are totally fine for copper. We are going to need an additional excavator, because we did take one away from mining iron, and it's always good to have more excavators. Uh, no real reason not to, right? Build loads and loads and loads of trucks. Also, we need to get the research back on the uh, back on the agenda, and that's something that has been a little bit lacking of late. But it's okay. It is a okay. Uh, also, we need to get ourselves buildings, vehicle lamp, uh, vehicle lamp, vehicle ramp, large. We need to get ourselves one of these. Uh, we'll do that like here sure we'll, we'll keep it on pause for now and i'm not even going to build the belt because if i build the belt then that's going to cause chaos cool we also need to collect water for this process um i know that i said that i designed it to be you know fully donezo but i didn't really groundwater there is a lot of groundwater there but i think our water unfortunately needs to come from the skies at this moment in time i do not think that there is any way around that Thankfully, we're still in planning mode, so I don't need to worry about it too, too much. Ah, uh, we'll just get it. Just get it zoned out. Zoned in. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so that's probably somewhat of a high priority thing to do. Just from the perspective of getting concrete production up and running. There we go, and down there. Perfect. Okay, how much of this is actually done? Loose storage, loose aggregates. Can we make a trade now? Uh, it's reduced. You know what? Keep on, keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. I will make that trade like pretty much any day of the week. And it's an easy one to do. It's a really, really easy one to do. Build this unit storage as a priority. 
And then, oh man, that's so many concrete slabs though. Don't bother building it as a priority then, if that's the case. I was thinking, let's get this set up so we can use the this unit storage to incorporate the slabs that we're getting from, uh, from here. But there doesn't really seem to be much of a point to that. Hey, look at that. Maintenance, we're, we're completely done. Completely done. Completely sorted. Turn off the boost there. Turn off the boost there. Uh, there's no issues. There's no issues anymore. We are all good on pretty much all fronts. So it is all full speed ahead as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and this is definitely this is definitely the priority. I think we've definitely got the, the priority right. Which makes me quite happy. There is still access around here. If I toggle via, uh, vehicle navigation overlay, we can still access all this stuff in here. Access is all fine. That's good. Okay, efficient concrete we've dealt with. Uh, fuel station, we've got one fuel station. Transport balancing, don't really care right now. Uh, vehicle management, we've got a few extra vehicle capacities. Groundwater pump, that'll probably be useful um, at some point. I need to probably read this at some point, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter. We do need to think about water and, and how we sort of incorporate that. I did sort of tweak it uh, last time. It says that it's going to give me more potatoes. So that makes me happy, I suppose. Uh, that's nice, I guess. Also, I need to turn this up a little bit. That makes me, that makes me happy that we're going to be getting more potatoes. But uh, at the end of the day... Eh? Unpause that there. And... Have the conveyor belts. There we go. Good stuff. So we can just buffer it. See if that works. Yep. Pretty, pretty happy. Uh, we are... Oh, yeah, we built that excavator there. So let's get that plumbed in over here. Beautiful. Continuing to get rid of waste. Crusher has no recipe selected. You are going to crush only slag which is the output from here that's good and then you're going to go through here you're going to get you're going to store what you need to store which is happy days what do we need more and more and more construction components it's literally literally all about construction components right now what are we constructing with the construction components it ain't vehicles they're being constructed with vehicle components Seems fine. Global need is 115. We can tolerate 130. Yeah, this is this is very much okay. 28 unity. We're doing good for unity. Okay. Uh, yeah, I suspect our concrete has all been used up. Keep going. Keep trading. Keep trading. Hate to see it happen. More trading options. I would like more trading options, actually. That would be kind of nice. I'd also like to get this dock repaired at some point over the course of uh, over the course of this episode, but I'm unsure if we actually are going to be able to do that. But there's no harm in at least trying to accelerate the process here. Let's boost. Let's boost you on the off chance that it makes a difference. I don't think it will, but again, you never know. Pause that. Uh, we can we can wait for those components to be delivered. There's no there's no real rush on that front. Yeah. Okay. So this is all this is all good. We need to select what needs to be delivered here, and this is what coal and limestone. I can do that. Coal, limestone. Beautiful. Again, this area is ready for disassembly. And in fact, I might just straight up disassemble it right now. That'll need to be unplugged. That'll need to be unplugged. And that'll need to be unplugged. Am I ready to disassemble this area? I think I might be, you know. We get, like, absolutely nothing back. Tell you what, disassemble the stuff that we know we're not going to need. Disassemble the stuff that we know we're not going to need. I mean, we've got a little bit of water. Let's use up the rest of that water. It's not like it can... It can be moved elsewhere, but I mean, if we were to do that, it would just be like a 
massive waste of truck time, so let's not worry about it. We'll get a tiny little smidgen of concrete, which realistically is actually all that we need. We don't need much concrete to make this, this whole process work uh, at all, so that's going to be nice. Uh, rubber we're still good for. I do need to check on the rubber process because it says that we have 150 in stock, but that's not maxed out for some reason. Missing input is coal. Why is coal the missing input? There's just a lot of requirement for coal right now. That makes sense. Let's assign two more trucks. There's a whole reason that we're building trucks, and that is to use them. So let's let's do it. We could start creating very, very long um, piping formations and whatnot, setting up setting up everything, but that seems that seems a bit daft. Also, is there another truck here? I tell you what, no, there shouldn't be another truck here. There really does not need to be. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to turn off truck auto import. Yeah, the missing input is the missing input is limestone. And the missing input is cement here. Is it time? I think it might be time to just wholesale get rid of this area. Yeah, let's do it. And get rid of that too. I think that's the wise choice. Right, so limestone should come down here. Should start to be added to the big old aggregate storage over there. I think... I think if I'm not mistaken... With the exception of the water infrastructure, which I really had not uh, done anything about. Undo that. Undo that. Yeah, it really hadn't done anything about the water infrastructure, but if we get the water infrastructure fixed up now, then we'll be good to go. And to be fair, of all of the infrastructure that we could choose to not build, the water infrastructure is, is actually fine because it doesn't cost that many components to build anyway. So there you go. Cool. That was a very, very short rain shower. Thought it was going to be a little bit more significant than that. Water, truck auto import. Let's try and keep it full. And there we go. We can actually take it right into here. That is perfect. And we can use some of the construction components to move things around and to build all of these pipes. Cracking. Okay, uh, let's go and trade one last time. Okay, uh, literally once. I was perhaps not thinking as literally that it was going to be that one last time, but there you go. Uh, that is that. Is that. Let's get, let's get the, let's get the concrete slabs in. Uh, let's also leave that on keep empty. In the vain hope that maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to eke out a tiny little bit of extra value. Oh, sand. Holy cow, I'd forgotten about sand. We do actually have we, we do have a component for sand, but we haven't actually um we haven't actually started the, the sand extraction yet. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that I'm ready for any eventuality. It's a good thing that I'm ready for any eventuality. Uh right, let's get a let's get a building. Let's get a building. Right over there. That looks fortuitous. Sign you. Sign you. Sign you. I think we probably want to be going down here. Yeah, nice. So that gets a priority from me, please. And I think... Ooh, I say I think. What's that going to end up yielding? Uh, the iron has already been moved across. That's fine. I think that should work. I think that should work. But again, it's concrete. That's the problem. Concrete is... Concrete is the issue. Do we have the construction components to make it happen? Uh, yikes. We might not, actually. I mean, are we... We're going to be able to trade again in just a second. In fact, we can actually trade enough now. Yeah, that'll definitely... That'll definitely get us enough construction components. It's just so much concrete that we require from so early on. 
Wowzers. I like the changes that they've made, but it does sort of change it, I guess, kind of fundamentally. Uh, it changes it in a major way. It changes the whole game in a major way, really. But anyway. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine here. Let's just make sure that we... Make sure that we get the job done. Let's also get a second truck assigned over here so that we can always have one truck being filled up with limestone. Because uh, we are going to need it. Let's also get back on the research bandwagon, eh? I mean, I've been gone from the the research game for a little while. Irrigated farms, I mean, that's going to take a while. Vegetable farming, sure. Captain's office, let's get that added. Settlement water for extra unity, sure. Smart conveyor routing, what the heck is that? I have no idea. Allow sorting of products. Oh, cool. That's not actually something that was around before. I like that. Okay, and then everything else is research level 2, so we need to get research level 2 researched before we're able to progress uh, further up the further up the tree. Right. Okay, sand is away. There we go. Okay, that's the second truck of sand that's heading out. The first truck of sand literally just landed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's make sure that this is boosted. That seems pretty legitimately fantastic to me. We've got one fluid storage thing. That's great. Happy, happy days. That's concrete. That's concrete. It's happening. That is beautiful. And this concrete is going to be run across to the other side of... I say the other side of the map. It's not the other side of the map. It's the other side of the bridge. It's going to be run across there. Okay. And then I think we're kind of just going to go crazy. I think we're just going to say... Hey, just build all this. Build it all. Build it all. Certainly all the basic stuff. I mean, I say basic stuff. It's not basic, but it's a bit more basic than uh, than this setup, which costs like 60 apiece. 60, whereas these only cost 40. I guess cumulatively there is more stuff here, but uh, you get the picture. There's also maybe... Yeah, maybe an interest. I I, may, I might have an interest in uh, in building more of more of these assembly machines. That would be that would be not bad. That would be not bad. We can also continue to trade. I mean, trading is such a it's so cheap. I mean, even with even costing seventy six wood a piece. I mean, wood is something that we're doing absolutely nothing with. We've got plenty of wood, and we can assemble it so darn fast as well. It's the good thing. You know what? Uh, leave that on pause. Leave that on pause. There's no reason to... There's no reason to do this quite yet. There we go. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. I may need to quick build some of this because there might be an access issue. Uh, if there is, I'll... I'll no doubt. I'll no doubt manage to get... Uh, to get that fixed up. No problems. What's the issue now? Missing input? What's the what's the input? It's concrete again? Why is concrete not being moved across here? Oh, it's because I see. Yeah, everyone is just deciding to prioritize moving all of the construction components across because we have an, an absolute ton of construction components now. I mean that's fine. Let's get a let's get a conveyor in here. I know that I said I was gonna wait to do the conveyor, but I really would like to get this in this in place right now. It's going to make for some interesting journeys. But it'll be worth it. Fine. Uh, do I want to quick build this? I kind of do. kind of do want to quick build that. And I kind of do want to quick build that. I kind of do want to quick build that. And again, if we automate it, then we're fine. Why on earth are you added diesel? You shouldn't be added diesel under any circumstances. There we go. Wowzers. Okay, so even with even with this new this new super special concrete recipe, we seem to be I mean, it just seems to be working so much better. Let's Let's enable the building of two additional Two additional assembly units. Concrete mixer is no recipe selected. Uh, slag crush, right? Yeah, that's the one. 
slag crushed and slag crushed. Beautiful. So I have no idea if we're going to be able to sustain this level of uh, to sustain this level of concrete production. I hope we are. The maths tells me that we're able to do it, or sorry, the math. Um, but we just won't be sure until until it happens. Okay, tree harvester is no trees to harvest. That is another concern of mine. Uh, we do have a lot of trees. Uh, we have plenty of trees. I mean, it may take a little bit long to, to get to the trees, but that's fine. Also, diesel-wise, we're going to have to get ourselves an additional diesel generator. And I'm also going to prioritize building here and prioritize building there. Yeah. Irrigated farms. Excellent. That's nice. Way hey, hey. Look at all this. Sand is a problem, but sand will no longer be a problem. Wow. This is going great. This is going fantastic. I had no idea. I had no idea it would uh, it would happen like this. I'm delighted that it is. Okay, good and doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be tidy it's a little bit of a bonus if it is make sure we're making construction component level ones uh how am i getting iron in here i'm not getting iron in here that's a massive oversight I don't know how I managed to figure that I was automating the whole darn thing and then just not put iron in here. It's pretty daft, isn't it? Oh, we'll fix it, though. Ugh, he says. Oh, he says, he says, he says, he says he'll fix it. That will work, but only barely. Take that out. Cancel that as well. Yeah, try try again. Try again on all those fronts. I feel like I really need to improve my, my belt building capability. But anyway, that's one dealt with for, for iron. And we also need to upgrade this. Yeah, get that upgraded. Are we okay for... Yeah, we're okay for electronics production. We're making them fast enough. It's going to be upgraded. Yeah, okay. So let's get... Uh, this can be destroyed. Yep. I really don't mind going higher, video game. It's not a problem for me. Okay, so. The wood branch goes there. Nothing stopping wood coming out here, though, right? Yep, that's fine, too. That's fine as well. So then we just need to get iron. Really? Is that an impossible... Is that an impossible journey? I knew it wasn't an impossible journey. Hey, maybe I'll maybe it's maybe it's gonna be maybe it's gonna be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe if I say, oh, this is just temporary. You'll be reassured that I'm that I'm not gonna that I'm not gonna leave this atrocious mess here forever. You'd be wrong. How is that? How can that not go under there? Okay, fine. Go over the top. If you want to go over the top, that's that's fine. And then what do we need? We need iron. 
We need iron from here. From here. I mean, that's... Such a horrific mess now, isn't it? If we can build all that, then that's amazing. Then that will truly be astounding. And I will be absolutely amazed. Uh, let's also adopt some more people. There we go. That should speed things up somewhat. Right. Time to get an additional electronics bin, I suppose. There we go. Build electronics. Again, no point in automating this yet, but that's fine. Pickup cannot reach destination. Well, there is... Okay, you need to be recovered, first and foremost. Uh, this needs to be... Truck auto import is off. 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 And the output of concrete should be flowing. Excellent. Okay. We have 200... We have 200 components, and that is not enough. This is why... This is why we have elected to keep space for expansion in here. Quick deliver that there. Quick deliver that there. These are both level ones, so I'm actually just going to trash these pretty much in its entirety. Brilliant. And then we're going to do a copy for the entire area, actually. Can't copy belts, of course, can you? That's pretty daft. Don't like that. Sure. It'll probably leave us enough space. And we'll make sure that we get copy settings. There we go. So everything should now be making what we need to make. Right. Video game is telling me that we don't have enough maintenance. Well, let me tell you, I am flush, absolutely flush with uh, level one construction components. So let's make our brand new maintenance area. What do we need here? This is rubber, keep full, and this is copper, keep full, and this is iron, yeah, for mechanical components. Also need to make sure that that's, that's in keep full mode. Right, is there a prioritization tool? Because I would like to prioritize the building of all of this. I mean, it's going to be built pretty darn quickly anyway, but... It'd be nice if it was built even quicker. Yeah. So that's going to allow electronics to be devoted... A bit more a bit more carefully we'll also boost this as well just to just to get up to speed uh what did we unlock vegetable farming yeah i want to see vegetable farming vegetable farming is brand new so crop rotation it takes it down to seven but 3.7 vegetables if i was to replace vegetables in here i mean Potatoes and then vegetables. That's not actually bad. That's not bad at all. It's technically a little bit of an increase. It is a four-month cycle, though. What if I was to just do... Vegetables, vegetables. No. I think potatoes... I think potatoes... that potatoes that vegetables i think that is that is best yeah again we'll we'll see waiting for rain or waiting for water it's a bit unfortunate it's a bit unfortunate that uh that it takes that it takes the amount of water that it does but it is what it is also i think we're going to need to nab ourselves yet another diesel generator again doesn't make sense why we've got the diesel generators at the other side of the map absolutely doesn't they could go anywhere else it really could also you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking we might expand yeah it might expand our oil operation facilities here 
Again, I'm just paranoid about diesel. Turns out I shouldn't have been paranoid about diesel. I should have been paranoid about other things, but... I am paranoid about diesel, so there we are. We'll let that get built. In the meantime, the maintenance area should be pretty much done, right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. When do we have refugees arriving on the island? Four months. Uh, do I really want to wait that long? Truthfully, I'm not sure that I do. Priority, priority, and priority. Our quick build, whatever. We'll get there. We'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. Uh, that's electric assemblies. I see why that's taking such a long time to build. Let's put a pause on these. And let's go and adopt five population. And we'll just wait for the... We'll wait for the next bit to arrive. There you go. Some mechanical components and also the other stuff. Not enough workers. What's the ATA? What's the countdown? One month. One month. We can wait a month. That's not a problem. Maintenance still, global maintenance still is, is not in a truly detrimental place yet. It's still okay. Right. So we have a hundred and... Wow, we have loads of these construction components. Let's start. Let's start just... Um, let's start building this vehicle ramp. New refugees. Excellent. That's copper, rubber, and iron scrap. And a little bit of diesel, which I don't... I don't mind at all. And after that, we're going to start yet again and make as many new trucks as we possibly can we do want to get big trucks but big trucks right now is a no-no this is looking very very good though i feel like everything that we've done has has actually has actually created quite a nice quite a nice process this uses what six every 60 seconds and uh yeah we make six every 60 seconds so we can basically duplicate this. We can basically duplicate this as many times as we want to. Wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing to do. If we need to do that, of course, in the future. But for now, we can we can just roll with it. Concrete. What's the issue with concrete then? Ah, this isn't assigned sand. I... We haven't been making concrete this whole darn time. We've actually just been using the backlog of concrete. Well, that's a bit of a pity. But it truly shows how much we were able to, to sort of backlog and secure. Because I hardly noticed. I, I really, truly hardly noticed that we were... That we were even out of sand until right about now. So that worked out very, very well as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's also... There's no point in there's no point in uh, no point in leaving this unbuilt, and in fact there's no point in leaving this unbuilt. This could technically have a material a material impact down the line. Yeah, level one construction components. So sad. Uh, trash these. Copy this. Copy this. Copy this. Copy this. And prioritize the building of all of these. And then copy the settings. Paste them across there. Okay, brilliant. Ah, more people. We didn't want more people. I'll pause that again. Just to make sure we don't go over the cap, which is uh, which is 10 away. And then we'll do crush slag as well here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so that's going to... That's gonna, allow us to make uh, a lot of progress a lot more quickly, a lot more rapidly. There we go. Let's get that loaded in there. And continue. What is that? 8 every 60 seconds, and this uses 3 every 60 seconds. So it's basically... Well, if we were to upgrade, what would that turn into? It uses 6 every 60 seconds. uses six electronics every 60 seconds, but we manufacture 12. So one electric assembly. One electric assembly, which I'm just sort of planning, will sort two. Uh, no, 
this needs to be pause construction mode, pause construction mode, and stain planning mode as well for this. There's no reason that this can't line up more perfectly than it currently is. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Excuse me, how is that useful? That is not useful for anyone. Sure. There we go, and we're gonna make that. This is gonna get fed in here. I need to get into the habit of putting these um, horizontally. Rather than vertically. Because it just makes so much more sense to store them because then you can stack them up sort of along the way, which I think looks better and seems to me to be more efficient. Especially in the way that I'm sort of building here. Go. Unpause all of that. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Pickup cannot reach destination. Where is your destination? In there? Oh, that's because we want to make sure that auto import and auto export is off on all of these. There we go. Nice. So it should be the case. Quick deliver all that. Unpause all this. Build it all. And we're a go. Beautiful. Uh, trees. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We got a ramp up and running. Brilliant. That is excellent. How are my trees looking, though? Not supremely excellent, I must say. Could we maybe do with uh, another tree truck? Yeah, I feel like maybe we could do with another tree truck. Just surely because of the scale that we're operating at at the moment. And we'll also destroy that. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to automate level 2 construction components. This is going to change at some point in the future. We're going to try and store these horizontally as well. As I say, the good thing is everything is scalable. Everything is ready to sort of just pop off if needs to, if it needs to. The boost can be removed from that. That's fine. Vehicle components. I presume I'm still making vehicles. Yeah, I am. Slowly but surely. It's making a real difference, though. It really is. Let's build some more. Uh, right, settlement water, yes. I would like to get settlement water up and running. I would really like to get settlement water up and running. Collision with housing? Oh, it's a groundwater pump. What am I talking about? Water facility. Uh, it's going to cost me more components than I have, and I would rather focus on getting buildings like this upgraded. So let's do that in the first instance. And let's also unpause all of this so that we can get that properly built. Uh, probably going to need to adopt some people, which I'll do. Yeah, is there an alternative recipe for construction components? I think there must be, right, in the research tech tree? There must be an alternative recipe. I think it might involve steel, if I'm not mistaken. That's steel. Recycling tree harvester level two larger vehicles. That's that's cool and very important. But we can also get trees through the boat. 
Speaking of, we should get this repaired. Yeah, I'm gonna get that repaired. I'm gonna make that a priority. Why not? Why not? Why exactly not? I will say, I am very, very happy with all this. This is going, this is going nicely. This is going real, real, real nicely. Uh, we're gonna require, like, a bunch more workers in, like, two, two minutes. So I'm gonna queue that up and unpause that because there's no reason not to. Also, the captain's office. I haven't got the captain's office yet. And we should probably get it. Because it is a nifty little... Oh, it's huge now. It's a way to say it is a nifty little building, but it is a huge nifty little building. Right, we'll definitely leave that one unpaused for now. Health boost one. Captain's office is not available. Yeah, it ain't been built yet. Disables natural population growth. Interesting. Ship dock ready. Wow, that was quick. Right, we can repair the we can repair the ship. What do we need? 124 iron? I think we're in luck. We probably have all of that. Mm, don't have it right now, but we will have it very, very soon. Uh, workers. Are you sure we can bring some more in? Fine. Uh, speaking of workers, farms. Do we need more of them? Somewhat suspect that we do. So, with my newfound love of space, I'm actually just going to straight up build more of them. Also going to try and be a little bit more... A little bit more efficient here with our... With our use of space and our... Uh, our utilization of potatoes because a lot of the a lot of the resources weren't being uh, weren't being used irrigated farms it's an option uh, but there is do potatoes count differently from vegetables yeah I think they do right so are we gonna need to get like you know what ditch that ditch that just just ditch 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 What's the issue here? Farm is no crops assigned. There we go. Just copy, just copy it across. I, I want to know what happens. I mean, what happens to the fact that we finish a potato crop when we still have vegetables stuck in the stuck in the storage area? I'm unsure. Right. Iron, we are we are sorely lacking. Also, the journey that these iron trucks have to take is, is quite extreme, but that is what it is. Let's get a... Let's get a build. Let's get a build of this. Let's quick deliver those resources, build another one. What's the point of having unity if you're not going to spend it? Wow, we need a lot of workers, and our food security is just absolutely decimated. It really is. Yeah, what happened? Oh, I tell you what happened. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Our our fields came online. That was exactly it. We have to. We have to, and it's 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 a shame, but we have to get them right. I mean, there's there's no other way. We have to get we have to get the additional fields. It is critical. New refugees, excellent. That's going to help a lot, and I'm just going to leave that on for another for another round, if that's okay. In fact, I might even adopt in the middle. Yeah, I will do that. These are good problems to have, though, in comparison to the last sort of load of problems that we had, which were bad problems to have. Right. I want to make sure that I do this in such a way that it doesn't look and work completely counter to logic. There we go. So I think that's enough space. Enough space for everyone to sort of be chill. Okay, good. How's that? Down there like so. 
I think we can make this work. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much perfect, to be honest. That's pretty much perfect. Okay, so that's the way that we automate. That's the way that we automate this. This uh, this level two construction component. That's great. We still have plenty of space. This is such a large map. I, I actually love it. I really didn't think that I would enjoy this map nearly as much as I as I have. It's really, really good. We have a whole bunch of level one construction components. So what should we do with that? Double up our copper. Build the captain's office. No, that doesn't really seem right. Maybe increase our iron, to be honest. That's definitely an option. Three hundred and twenty components plus change molten channel. I'm not sure if this is necessarily the right decision because we can't even supply enough uh, enough iron ore as is, but it feels right. It feels right. Excuse me. There we go. Made it. Mm. Cancel that. Cancel that. better I knew it I knew it it looks it looks pretty awful but I mean it's fine it does work okay Over there uh, that comes around here all right okay tree harvester is munching through these trees like there's no tomorrow uh, right clean up the trees that are near us first Put all of these in zone, actually. Okay. Smart conveyor routing. That's fine. New refugees. Excellent. We're officially back above board. We have marginally enough workers. We have 500 and something components. Level 1 components. So, I mean, if that's not a reason to actually start work on this entire area, I don't know what is. I'm also pretty content that we're getting sort of brand new uh, brand new uh, aggregate loose sort of hoppers. Very, very okay with that. I think that's going to help. I think that's going to help with, uh, with a lot of backup as well. Sand. Are we okay for sand? Not quite okay for sand. Limestone. We need a little bit more. A little bit more limestone by the looks of it. We do have one free excavator. That free excavator is going to... It's not going to go to iron, that's for sure. Maybe it is going to go to limestone. Sure, let's get you to limestone. But let's build another excavator as well. That is going to use up all of our building uh, or vehicle building components. But that's okay. Double the number of trucks there as well. Good stuff. Okay, Blast Furnace is no recipe selected. We know what it needs to be. We know what it needs to be. Okay, my population is huge. My population is huge, and I am worried that we are growing far too fast. Far, far too fast. Um, it does not feel... Does not feel good. Let's unpause all this. Feel like maybe I'm scaling just a little bit too aggressively here. Let's also 
make further redundancies over here to make sure that we always have there we go to make sure that we always have we always have components that we can use to build with so these components will be sent off ones and these will be sent off up over here uh, to be turned into level two components and in fact we should really get a should really get an output for these over here one two three same sort of story there we go all right can't reach destination what are we looking to what are we looking to reach this here yeah auto import and export turn it all off and nice Quick deliver, quick deliver, of course, because I stopped auto importing and auto exporting. So we're going to have to do that and quick deliver there. That is fine. Okay, brilliant. More refugees. Man, this is, this is, this is getting risky. This is getting risky, but you know, we, we've got loads of fields. We've got loads of fields and um, we actually have a really, really, really large number of uh, level two components. We just need to make sure that we turn that into, into water. How are we doing for diesel? We are not in a good place for diesel. No siree. No siree, we're not. Okay, pause and take another look at that. Yes, go, build. Faster. way around all of that really deserves to be priority numero uno might not be but it's okay uh have we got a lot of diesel at this other fuel station yeah we got enough to we got enough diesel over there to, to keep us going for at least a little while longer so that's fine uh power wise we are not close to our limit because i just built uh, an additional one we still have our beacon on we can afford to get probably one more load which is about what we're gonna have to deal with uh we should also probably get ourselves a fuel station over here somewhere but we can worry about that uh, a little bit later on yeah i think this is it i think this is it though after after that we're gonna have to maybe pause new people joining us for at least a little while just because I'm terrified that we are going to end up running out of food. That is really, really worrying. There we go. Unpause all that. No idea why that was paused. But we got 11, and that's and that's fine. We've got most of our iron for the ship here, which is also, again, legitimately fantastic. That's really, really nice. The dock is repaired. That's cool. World exploration. Ship is unlocked. Bada bim, bada boom. Uh, I'm not going to load it with diesel because that's going to immediately lead to a supply crunch. That's pretty much the opposite of what we're looking for. 16 refugees are coming. Okay. Uh, let's also unpause this so that we get a little bit of extra... A little bit of extra copper production eked out of here. Uh, and in fact, we should probably just build this, this setup as is. But again, we can worry about that a little bit later on. Okay, we're finally starting to utilize our construction component level twos, which is great. World exploration, yeah, we'll we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that later. I just just get me to the just get me like two months time. Two months time and we'll be good. How are we doing diesel wise now? Yeah, not as great as we could be. I mean eighteen times two is 36 54 one two three so three of these right three of these makes 54 so we can actually support an additional basic distiller working at full tilt new refugees that's what you love to see 16 that's perfect right so we're pretty much bang on our population cap especially if we don't stop our uh, stop our natural growth rate so that's fine Pause the beacon. The beacon will only take us up so high. It is worth noting that. And I suspect that if the 
the game has changed anything, it will probably be the fact that the beacon can can do less. Right. Take it out of planning mode, because just build, baby, build. We're going to get ourselves a brand new distiller here. Five workers available. Is that enough? It says it's not going to be enough, but I believe it will be. I believe our natural population growth will will take us over the edge and find us that last worker that we need. Okay. Also coal. Yeah, we need to kind of automate the coal setup here. Make it a little bit more official. Not enough workers. Yep. That's fine. Uh, where can we pause our workers? We pause one, like one tiny lot of workers. I don't know, like the... Sure, I mean, that can be paused. That's not a problem. All right, there's a little bit of a fueling issue at the moment. We kind of expected that that would be the case. All right, Unity tool. Let's turn all of these all of these on to be Unityified. Turn all of these on to be Unityified. It's going to cost us a lot of Unity, but that's okay. Uh, Coal-wise, we're almost certainly going to need another excavator here. So let's get that, let's get that engaged, and let's assign two more trucks. In fact, you know what? Let's go, let's go crazy. Let's go get a third truck. And in fact, I mentioned about automating. Mentioned about automating coal. Let's do it. Build that there. Wonderful. Go, 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 go. Stop importing. Stop importing. Stop importing. Let's just get it done. Let's get it done. Are we... Yeah, we're pretty... We're pretty hammered on the input here. Let's get another one. Another pipe there. Is that gonna... Is that gonna speed things up a little bit? Maybe a little. Where's my coal? Where's my coal? Come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah, the diesel is... The diesel is a real weak point. This is... I, it's not what I was worried about because, I mean... You know, I don't want to sound like I predicted this. Finished edicts. What did we get in edicts? Are we on Research Labs 2? Uh, Research Lab 2's now? Uh, fuel saver, maintenance reducer, water saver, and farming boost. Oh, nice. Farming boost is new, I think. Did we get coal? Why is my why is my coal truck? Why is my coal truck not not working? There we go. More coal trucks, please. Just get more. I mean if we need more, then we need more. Aha, finally. Finally, 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 finally. We do still have a, a tiny little bit of diesel. There we go. It's just eaten up so darn quickly. That's the problem. It's just... It's such a long way for these trucks to travel. There's no real way around that, though, I don't think. I mean, unless we build a bridge or fill in the water over here, and that's just not feasible for the amount of resources that we have at the moment. Maybe in the future, you never know. But not now. Surely not now. Of course, the other option is to bump the priority. No. Stupid. Copy the settings, paste the settings, paste the settings. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Okay. 
now we're now we're back in business. There is absolutely no point in unityifying all of this because we just don't get enough. We don't get enough oil across. I mean, we just have. We have nowhere near enough oil coming through. I mean, we're at full throughput there. This is the very slow process, unfortunately. But the good news is, is that we will see an increase to our to our diesel here. We will. He says. He says. Let's try uh, try a little a little bypass. There we go. Try that. See if that makes a difference. Funnily enough, I think it it might it might make ever so slightly a bit of an impact either way that's as that's as fine for diesel for now um i'm really not concerned about i'm not concerned about it anymore it'll be fine coal is now officially filled up which is great news it's happy days uh there is maybe you know some sort of logic in in keeping this unity boosted the reason being that we won't require power in order to make it work Low food supply. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I was worried about all that all that time ago about getting getting more people. Thirty six and zero month. Could not store all the vegetables times two. Yeah, I mean that's 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 big wastage right there. And pretty much because I didn't go ahead with the um, with the building of this of these storages. Now, do I need... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to store all of this in, like, one singular... One singular block. I'm going to try. I'm going to hold off on building that second one. So this... Yeah, this is vegetables. But what happens to... What happens to potatoes? Fuel, 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 fuel. We seriously, we're seriously bottlenecked. Man, this sucks. We're also, I mean, low on power, so it's not necessarily a problem that we're bottlenecked. But at the same time, it, it absolutely is. It's just so grim. It's so grim. Uh, we can't even get better pipes. We can get Research Lab 2s, and then we can get better pipes, which I guess I'll add to the to the queue. But this is, like, such a limiting factor. It really is. Um, how's the boat doing? Well, in fact, yes, I forgot about the boat. Yeah, we can't do anything with the boat until we get the until we get a bit more of a, a bit more of a solid diesel supply. Uh, but to be honest, I mean, we've not really run out of diesel, and... That little tweak there might make a little difference, which will be nice. Uh, I think we'll actually be fine for diesel, to be honest. As soon as this sort of evens out, as soon as our rubber maker is not making rubber at uh, at the rate that it used to be, and as soon as the fuel tank over here is full, which it might never be, you never know, uh, then I think things will, will even out. But for now, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this old episode up. Thank you as ever for watching. My name, of course, has been... Or with a potato. He's being captain of industry. I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye.